Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about open games and today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and talked to Larry who told us about Gordy and the Samurai Dogs, which were previously Gord Dogs. But more importantly, we learned the fact that Phoenix, Larry, and Edgeworth were all in the same class in grade school, which is pretty interesting. It makes a lot of sense why Phoenix would be so willing to put up with some of the stuff that Edgeworth had said, and why Edgeworth mentioned that they had known each other for a little while. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to go ahead and go on over to Grossberg's office. Uh, I forgot to mention, we went over to his place last time as well, I think, and he just wasn't there. Which is typical of Grossberg, but you know. December 25th. Grossberg Law Offices. Urgh. Um. Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! You're me as something, are you not? I was your understudy, yes. Phoenix Wright. Aha! And you're... You're me as something too, are you not? A little sister yet. Yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Um, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course, you came here to discuss something. What is it, then? Something the matter? There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I, uh, just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. Because he hadn't heard anything. Mr. Grossberg? Whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I do not think it shall ever come back. be coming back home to this office. I can exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's just my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. Just realized I forgot to present my attorney's badge to Larry. You've really grown up in the past few years, my dear. How proud Mia would be if she could see you now. She said she was more worried about me than anything. Ah, uh, just go on and take the compliment, will you? The autopsy report. Because remember, the victim in this case, Maya said that she remembers seeing the victim at Grossberg's office. Hmm? Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah! Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? Who is this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond, he was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL-6 incident. DL-6? Why does that sound familiar? Perhaps you'll remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at the loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Is that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. A spirit medium, Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the victim of the spirit. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DL6 incident, yes, happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. Never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to the charges being laid against one man. Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, uh, yes, 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 quite. Thank you. No, please, don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait. Does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, 
Gregory Wh What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Misty Faye's photo added to the court record. So yeah, it seems Edgeworth has been tied to that incident that took place 15 years ago that split up Maya's family, or at least split, up, split her up from her mother. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten the message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Have any talking points? What happened? Can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again. Just leave me alone. Please try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case. Understand? Why did you go to Gord Lake? I have no intention of, of telling you. Nor apparently would you tell Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe was really worried about you. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know, but I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the one and only who could have killed my father. As the spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now... This. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations run on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from the public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it.
<laughs> Would have thought there'd be a photo. Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know. You want us to defend you. Yes, will you? Uh, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. It's my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Edgeworth's request put in pocket. Well, I guess we should... What's that? Earthquake! Nick! It's big one! What? It, it's calming down. Whew! That was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in a ball, shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. We have to give Edgeworth's letter request to Detective Gumshoe. So speaking of earthquake, I don't know if this is a speaking of earthquakes thing, but during that earthquake, you didn't move an inch. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch since I came in. A real pro. Let's go ahead and before we head into the precinct and uh, give the thing to Detective Gumshoe, I want to see if Larry is still here so I could present my attorney's badge. And there you go. Huh? Oh, that's your attorney's badge, isn't it? Dude, you really helped me out back in that trial. Sorry I can't really pay you. Did you blow it all on Keyonce? But you can have it all. You can have all the dogs you want. R really? Larry, if you let her eat your dogs, you won't have any left for other customers. Hey, no problem. If that's what Emma makes her happy, you know. How many times do I have to remind you that it was me who got you off the hook? So yeah, funny little interaction there. But yeah, we're coming up to the end of this section. The investigation of the case. December 25th, Police Department. Criminal Affairs. What's going on here? Eek! What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Rat had to say. What's all this about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around find more witnesses? Want to give Mr. Edgeworth a dent death sentence, pal? Can I just talk about something real quick about the Ace Attorney series? Is that something weird that I've noticed, at least in the first few games, I haven't played the sequels yet, or I haven't played the fifth and sixth games yet, so I don't know if it pursues there, uh, or if it continues there. I think that means the same thing. But one thing that I've noticed is for some reason they treat having more witnesses as a death sentence. Like... They, they say, like, oh, no, you're finding more witnesses. But it's better to find more perspectives on a story because then you can poke holes in certain pieces of evidence or poke holes in the testimonies, and that's how you find the truth. And if everything does point to, you know, your client being guilty and everything does seem to work out like they're guilty, then if they're guilty, then good like it, it just seemed weird to me I don't no not at all just I mean she did see something there's nothing I can do about that can't go around covering up evidence uh you trying to say something about the way I do my job no sir see so, yeah, a lot of testimony so what did Miss Hart say she says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol 
She even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. You really, really can't tell from the photo who it is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of my, but, it, but it'll show us who's who. She can do that? Okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great. Just great. In any case, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. Cancellation? I'm afraid tomorrow is going to be a life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who said she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. Wait, what did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's gotta be something I've overlooked. It sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is going to state is going to ask the state for to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork. But you still got time, pal. Go talk to him again for me, please. You have to convince him. You have to make him let you defend him. Please, I know you're the only one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save Mr. Edgeworth. Well, luckily, we've already got a request for defense right over here. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. I'll see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. I was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I was only in the same class as him for fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. 